Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I was going to take you through some of the essential tools that you need in order to do a gel polish manicure at home. For preparation products you will need a nail file. I personally prefer a glass or crystal file but you can use any file that you prefer. This is used both to shorten the natural nail and to shape the nail. After that you will need a cuticle pusher. Now you can either use a wooden cuticle pusher or a metal one. If you're new to doing your nails, I suggest you use a wooden cuticle pusher. Um, if you have a light touch or if you're used to doing your nails, then you can use this metal, pu metal pusher. This is um, double-ended, so it's got the cuticle pusher at one end and the scraper tool at the other. Now this is a great little tool, but you do need to use it with care because you can gouge the natural nail with this tool. That works very well in conjunction with a curette. Um, I personally think this is an essential tool for doing a gel manicure, especially if you're not using an e-file to remove the cuticle. just enables you to get into lots of little X faces and remove a lot more cuticle than the cuticle pusher will alone. Now this tool works brilliantly in conjunction with a cuticle remover. I personally use um, C&D Cuticle Away, but you can use whatever product you choose. It is handy to have a little bottle of water on hand just to remove the cuticle remover. That will need to be removed from your nail before you do your polish. You can obviously wash your hands under the tap, but you'll find that your nails will take on more water if you do that. So it's handy just to have a spray bottle ready to go. You'll also need a buffer. Um, now a lot of gel polishes recommend that you use this to remove the shine from the natural nail before you apply their polish. It's personal preference whether you do or not. Um, some people choose not to, but even if you choose not to, this file is very handy for removing those little bits of excess nail um, that hang back when you've filed your nails back. They must be removed before you do your polish and this tool is great for that. Now, whatever brand you choose to buy is not important, but the grit is very important. So bearing in mind that you'll be doing this on your natural nail, um, I personally wouldn't go anything much more coarse than the 220. You can use 180, but I certainly wouldn't go any more coarse than that because you don't want to damage your natural nail. In terms of uh, liquid products, you will need a nail surface cleanser of some description. I've got the gelish one here, but you can use, again, whatever brand you prefer. Alternatively, you can use 100% isopropyl alcohol. That will effectively do the same thing. You'll need to apply that using a lint-free wipe. Now you can either buy lint-free wipes or do what I've done here, which is just fold a piece of paper towel in half. Whatever you use, just make sure it is in fact lint-free, otherwise you'll get little bits of lint and cotton stuck to your nail um, and then they'll get cured in your polish and ruin the look of your mani. So just make sure that they're lint-free, whatever you use. Now here, as you can see, I've got the NSI Polish Pro polishes. That is a three-step system. Some polish is a two-step, they need a colour and a top coat only. This is a three-step, which means you need the base coat, colour and top coat. Um, NSI's dehydrator is called Bond Enhancer, and that's always a good idea to use this. It will dehydrate your nail and increase the longevity of your polish. You will also need a base coat, which is applied in a very, very thin layer and cured in your lamp. After that, you will apply two to three coats of the colour of your choice. Again, curing in between each layer. And then you'll finish off your mani with the top coat, which is cured and gives your nails a lovely shine and increases the longevity of your mani. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.